Hi, I'm Riley. I'm Jackson. And I'm Carl. Would you rather have edible spaghetti hair that regrows every night or sweat maple syrup? <laughs> Yo, regrows how much? Like if I don't eat it, does it double every day? Yeah. I feel like that would get old fast, but I also still would go with that because you can do a lot of different things with the pasta um, and like cook it up creatively every day. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with Carl on this one. I think spaghetti hair is definitely the right answer because you get more bang for your buck and um, I'm not trying to be like extra sticky. Um, I'm probably gonna have to go syrup on this one because one of the four main food groups, candy, candy cane, candy corn, and syrup. And so I think it's just more nutritional. Valid. Nice self-reference. Do your best Yoda impression. Enjoy Malibu, you will. <laughs> um, committed lots of tax fraud I have. <laughs> Can you touch your tongue with your nose? Yes. Do it. Dang. What's something you're weirdly good at? Yeah, in third grade, we had a pie day competition. And there was this girl that was really mean and I didn't want her to win. So I memorized 200 digits of pie. Girl's really good at being a leader. <laughs> oh my gosh. Aww. He's really good at being a friend. <laughs> Aww. All right, thank you for building me up on this day. <laughs> That's just my brand, it's all a front. <laughs> um, I'm really good at making cereal, um, matching socks. <laughs> Yeah, I would say those are probably my two best. So take me through your cereal recipe. Yeah, so like, I usually go with life. Sometimes if I'm feeling crazy, I'll do like a granola mix, um, throw some blueberries in there, maybe some bananas. And then I drink oat milk because I'm trying to be eco-friendly. Jackson, what were you gonna say? Oh, I was gonna say Carl's actually pretty good at cooking for something Carl's good at. Really? Is it just I've gotten bratwurst? a lot better. I've gotten a lot better during quarantine. I actually haven't cooked bratwurst, but Jackson knows that I've come a long way. Uh, <laughs> syrup? Quarantine. That was syrup. <laughs> no, yeah, Carl's really good at cooking. Oh my gosh. Um, show me your favorite meme. <laughs> Language has like a word for ambulance that sounds somewhat like the English word. And yet in uh, German, it's Krankenwagen. What the heck? <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. There's this, which is, it's the cave, but uh -huh. um, it says LaCroix, which is like the shadow, and then like up above, like tr the truth is the fruit. I like that. Oh, uh, yeah. You could live on any planet in the sol solar system. Which would you choose? Probably the sun. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna say Jupiter. I feel like I've always had a spiritual connection with that planet, so definitely would like to go check it out. Yo, what? You have <laughs> a spiritual connection with Jupiter? Yeah, we just like click, we resonate. Which state, US state, represents your personality? Do y'all know states? I know a few. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Name five states. <laughs> Texas, Louisiana, Alabama, Texas and Alaska. Okay. Uh, I'm inclined to say Texas just because that's where I'm from. So I feel like uh, it represents me the most, but I don't have a super strong opinion on this. I'd probably say Colorado, um, just because there's a lot of cool outdoorsy stuff there. And I would like to be like a Colorado person. <laughs> I'd say Wyoming because I'm an illusion and do not exist. <laughs> You're an illusion? He's just a figment of our imaginations. I have oh a virtual God. background. Bro, he's been to practice this whole time. 